I'm so excited. Um, my previous video, I filmed that on a Canon T3i, and I realized it didn't have autofocus during video, so that was a problem. So I got the Canon EOS M50, I believe. This week, I'm doing a week in my life as a nursing student. This is my third week of class, so this morning I have lecture at 8 until 10.20. So it's like two and a half hours, and then I have an hour and a half break, and then I have lab from 12 to 3 o'clock. And next Monday is our first exam, so this week is probably going to be filled of, first of all, stress. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy, but it's going to be really filled with studying for my first exam. So I'm nervous about it. I don't know what to study. I don't know what to do. So that's what we're doing this week. Stick around for the rest of my week. Okay. Bye. I apologize, the lighting in my kitchen is so bad. I don't even know where to stand. But yesterday I meal prepped homemade egg McMuffins. So this is a it's in it's wrapped in parchment paper and it's an English muffin, turkey sausage, cheese, and egg. And I just stuck it in the freezer. So I made we made 24 of them. Um, my boyfriend took half, I took half. So I have 12 of them in my freezer, and this is gonna be a little taste test. Let's see how it is. I'm gonna pop it in the microwave for a minute, I think, and then the toaster for like 30 seconds. So let's see. Let's see how this McMuffin tastes. Mmm! I can't believe I made that. That's so good. As I was putting this back in the fridge, um, I dropped it and yeah, that sucks. <laughs> ah! Just finished my lecture and I'm vlogging on my phone again because I didn't want to bring my camera to school and then leave it in my car and then someone breaks in or something and I lose it. Yeah, so we're on my phone again. Um, I just finished lecture, it's 10.29. I'm on my way to Target because I need to get toilet paper and cotton rounds for my face and I just want to get that out of the way. Target's literally around the corner from my school. And then I might run to Trader Joe's quick because I didn't get any lunches for the week and I like getting like the pre-made salads or wraps to have for lunch or school or work. Just went to Target and got a bunch of stuff, but while I was there, I got a text from my classmate who said she wanted to study during our break. So I just picked up a pre-packaged pre Caesar salad and I'm just gonna go back to school and then we'll have like an hour to study before lab starts. Just got out of class and it's two, 49. I just drove over to the gym. I think I'm gonna hit triceps and shoulders, maybe a little bit of chest, and that's it. And then probably go on the Stairmaster for like 10 to 15 minutes and call it a day, and then go home and study. <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> Just got done at the gym you can probably tell my arms are literally shaking but i just did oh look at that i have to shave my armpits oh yes baby so i did triceps and shoulders and now i'm gonna go to trader joe's and get lunches for the rest of the week so i don't have to leave school or buy food every day at work gonna do a little haul when i get back home and show you guys what i got Thank you. 
as promised, a Trader Joe's haul. Okay, so first for lunches, I got the buffalo style chicken breast wrap with blue cheese dressing. And then I also got the chicken wrap with pesto vinaigrette. And I like, this is actually four lunches. Um, because I just eat one half at a time. Then I'll pack sides to go with the lunch, like fruit, cheese, nuts, veggies, stuff like that. I like having carbs in the middle of the day. I know people say that it makes them tired, but I just, I need carbs and meat for lunch. I can't just eat like just veggies or just fruit and crackers. Like I need protein and carbs for sure. Two more things for lunch that I got. I got this crunchy slaw with chicken crispy noodles and peanut dressing salad this again it's huge so this is two lunches for me and then I also got this chicken salad and I'm just gonna pack this maybe as a side um just to eat with, with crackers or just eat even as a snack at home I'm not sure yet but that just sounded really good I wanted through the frozen section as one does at Trader Joe's and I only got one thing, so I'm proud of myself, but I got these root veggies fries. And they have roasted sweet potatoes, carrots, beets, and parsnips. I've never heard of a parsnip. But I love sweet potato fries, so these just caught my eye and I want to try them. Last thing I got, stuff to pack for snacks for lunch. I got mini sweet bell peppers and then the roasted garlic hummus. I've had this hummus before. I really like it and I like dipping these in there. Um, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes. I love dipping anything in hummus. It's so good. That's my little haul from Trader Joe's. For breakfast, like I said, I have those pre-made sandwiches and then I have a ton of snacks already. And then for dinner, I have a lot of stuff in my freezer. Like I'll make lasagna and then just freeze it in little portions. So I'm pretty much sat like I could eat out of my freezer literally for months because I have so much frozen food in there so I'm very happy that I got that out of the way before nursing school started because now I can just heat up something and have a nice dinner ready to go and not have to worry about it so yeah okay now I'm gonna go take a shower and study okay I just showered I'm in my comfy clothes and I'm sitting at my desk and I'm going to eat my snack i brought this in my lunchbox and didn't eat it at school so i'm gonna eat it now to give me some motivation hopefully some energy a little sugar rush to do homework and study so this is just strawberries and blueberries so i'm sitting down to study i hope this location is like okay for filming i'm gonna try and time lapse it because then i can't go on my phone and get distracted but i just want to show you guys what i'm doing so our first exam is next monday exactly a week from today and it's over the first three weeks and i'm in the third week right now so for each chapter what i'm doing is i'm typing out the learning objectives and that's what i have highlighted here and then i'm just going through and answering each of them and then i'm going to print these out and use that as a study guide so i think i only have four chapters left um two chapters that we went over today in class and then two that we're going over tomorrow so I'm I don't know if I'm gonna get them all finished or just wait till after we go through it tomorrow um, but then they'll be all finished by Wednesday and then I can dedicate the rest of the weekend to studying also what I did like this is chapter 14 so these were the learning objectives and then when she went over it in lecture I wrote everything that she went over in red so I know that that was obviously important and definitely things that I need to study. I have my computer here and then I also have my iPad on the stand here and I have my notability up. So my professors post PowerPoints with a voiceover. So I'll have the voiceover up on my laptop and then I'll have the corresponding PowerPoint on my iPad here. So I take my Apple Pencil and I also color code my notes. So pink are things that I think are important um, so the learning objectives I just did a big pink box and then in red I write anything I need to add so a lot of times during their lectures they'll say look at box 25-3 um, so I take a screenshot of that and I have the bookshelf app on my iPad where I can pull up the textbook so I'll take a screenshot of it and then just add it right in on the next page of the notes so here I have add key terms and what I really like about notability is 
whenever you say add somewhere, when you go over here, you can search all the pages and just search for the things that you need to add. And it pulls up every page where you wrote add. So you can just go through it quickly and add in the tables and then you'll have full notes. So I'm just gonna go through the learning objectives now and answer them. <laughs> It is 9.30. I have been doing homework for over four hours, almost five hours, and my brain is exhausted from, first of all, being in class for seven hours today and then doing four hours of studying. So I'm taking a break. I'm probably not going to do any more work tonight. But I'm just having a bowl of Snickers ice cream, my favorite. And I think I'm going to watch Big Little Lies on HBO. And then go to bed because I'm exhausted. Okay, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow morning. Hi guys, so it is the next morning. I'm on my way to school. I got up like 30 minutes late, so... I'm eating my Egg McMuffin in my car on the way, um, and I just braided my hair today, and it's actually super cute, so, yeah, it is 7.40, class starts at 8, um, I need to stop, like, snoozing my alarm, because no matter if I get up at 6.15, or if I get up 30 minutes later, like I did today, if it's before 8, I'm still gonna be tired anyways, so... I need to not snooze my alarm in the future so I can eat at home. I don't know what we're doing today, but I guess we'll see. And then I have some stuff to do after school, so I'll take you along for that. Keep it moving, but we, we're not going to hold you out with the water. So I'm just leaving school right now. It's 4.25. I got out of lab at 2.45 and then my study group rented a study room in the library. So we just went and studied a bit because we have our first exam, like I said, on Monday. So we did that and I had to leave a little early. They're still there, but I have a lash appointment at 5. So... I thought I left with enough time to go home, but I have 13 miles left in my gas tank. So I actually have to stop and get gas and then I guess I'll just go to my lash appointment and my scrub. Hey guys, so why does my hair do that? Um, I'm home now. It's 640. I got home a few minutes ago and I just took a body shower and I'm wearing some sweats now. Um, I'm going over to my boyfriend's house because he made me dinner, lucky girl. My lash appointment was great. I'm so exhausted that I fell asleep for the entire time and she had to like tap me and wake me up and I woke up and like had no idea where I was. Like I was in such a deep sleep. So I wish I could have just stayed there and napped, but you know. So tonight will probably be an early night because I'm exhausted, but I'm gonna go over to my boyfriend's and he's gonna go through flashcards with me that I made for my exam and then I might watch one lecture that's next week because um, I wanna get everything done for week four, like all the lectures watched so that this weekend I can just focus on studying instead of having to watch all the lectures for week four. I just got home. Um, I didn't vlog over at my boyfriend's because we didn't really do much. We just ate dinner and then he helped me go over some flashcards and I'm lucky he's a physical therapist so he's been able to help me with a lot of different things so I definitely lucked out in that department but I'm just gonna wash my face I'm gonna leave my braids in overnight and just see what it looks like tomorrow tomorrow is a full day of lab I think I'm probably just gonna wear my hair I might do a headband and hopefully like this looks cute and kind of crimped and then I might just do like a messy bun I'm just gonna take off my makeup here maybe I'll time lapse this yeah I think I'm going to 
watch one lecture because it's 50 minutes so it's gonna take a while probably like an hour and a half with pausing it for notes and everything and then go to bed because I'm exhausted here is the homework setup it is 11 32 I still have 29 minutes left of this. I don't think. There's no way I'm gonna finish. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hi, guys. It is Wednesday morning. It's 7 right now, so I need to leave in 10 minutes. So, yeah, but I just want to show you. I'm wearing my scrubs and then this super cute headband. Um, it's from Etsy. And my mom and I just sewed buttons on it. I know I got it on Etsy. It's like tons of cute little shops with cute headbands on there. And now they actually add buttons, which is really cool. But I bought this before the whole COVID thing. And then I just have a little messy bun and we're good to go. I have lab all day, 7.30 to three o'clock. So it's gonna be a long day. I packed coffee and I realized my lab group is in the like actual lab with like the mannequins and um, hospital beds and we aren't allowed to have food or drink in there so I have to drink this really quick um, starts in 12 minutes look at my cute little boyfriend he brought me chick-fil-a so I just came home quick. I have a little lunch break until 12.45. So I have to go back to school in like 40 minutes. I just got done out of class. It's 2.47. And like I said, today was a full day of lab. So we learned how to make the beds, the hospital beds. Um, Learned how to do like sitting to standing and walking tests to assess for falls. What else? We went over like safety precautions. Um, and then in the last class that I was just in, we learned how to take blood pressure. So I finally learned how to use my stethoscope. Yay! I'm definitely gonna go and practice on my boyfriend and my parents are coming to town this weekend so I might practice on them at home. Now I'm just gonna go home and work on a paper that I have for my ASU BSN online class that's due on Sunday and then I have a Zoom meeting at 4 for the volunteer program that I'm doing. I'm volunteering with hospice patients. I'm gonna go to my patient's house once a week and just provide them comfort and stuff like that so yeah, see you guys at home. Just got off Zoom for my volunteer thing, and like I've said before, it's um, I'm volunteering with a hospice patient, and I'm just providing them comfort and activities once a week for four hours, and once a month, the first Wednesday of every month, we have a Zoom meeting with um, a professional in the field that works with dementia patients, and they just give us some more education. Today it was about engagement, so we talked about activities that we can do with them, um, keep them engaged, and just new ideas, some of the past volunteers shared experiences, and I'm actually meeting my volunteer on Sunday, so I'm really excited for that. It's like our initial visit, so just kind of getting to know them, and then from there I'll be visiting with them once a week. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Okay, now I'm gonna go do homework. Hi guys, good morning. It is Thursday morning, it's 8.49 right now. I did not vlog last night that much. I just did homework and then went to bed. Um, so yeah, now I'm in my black scrubs for work. I work at a med spa, I'm an esthetician and laser tech, if you didn't know. But at 9 o'clock today, I have a doctor's appointment. It's like a three-month checkup to just make sure that the medication I'm on is working and everything's okay. And then I'm just going to head to work after that. Um, I had my homemade egg McMuffin like usual. And then I got Starbucks Fenty Blonde Vanilla Latte with only two pumps of vanilla and almond milk. 
It's so good. Yum. So, yeah, I usually work 9 to 5, but today I just blocked off my schedule until 10.30. This doctor's appointment probably won't take that long, but I didn't want to have, like, a client at 10 and then not be able to get there at 10. So I just want to be safe, but I'm just going to head there right when I'm done. And then I work till 5 tonight, so it's going to be a long day. <laughs> So I got out of my doctor's appointment. It's only 9.17. Um, I have to sneeze. Why do I always have to sneeze? Shoot, the mask took off my makeup. I don't have to wear a mask at work, which I really like. And I'm vaccinated from COVID. I had COVID, so personally, I'm not too worried. Hi guys, I forgot to vlog all day at work, so I'm gonna try vlog tomorrow to show you guys a little work day in my life, but now I'm here with my boyfriend. Say hi. Hello. This is Dylan, he's the love of my life, and <laughs> he's helping me do my homework. I have these stupid quizzes. This is gonna take a while, but good thing he's such a smart doctor. He can help me. <laughs> I am home. It's 9.18 right now. I just got home from my boyfriend's house and I'm so mad at myself because I was planning on vlogging all day at work and like showing you guys the treatments I was doing. Literally totally forgot I didn't even pick up my camera until I was at my boyfriend's house after dinner at like 8.30 p.m. So yeah, I just did some homework at his house. He helped me a little bit and I'm home and I'm gonna do some more and then I need to go to bed at a decent hour because I work again from 9 to 5 tomorrow. It is Friday, it's 12.07 right now and I'm at work, obviously my black scrubs. I have been so bad at vlogging. I was gonna vlog this morning and I totally forgot. I worked at 9 this morning and I had a few clients this morning and I just ate my Trader Joe's salad at work. And now I'm in line at Starbucks because I did not have any caffeine this morning and I'm dying. So I need Starbucks and then I think I have four more clients the rest of the day. Yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah, I don't know. I guess we just gotta... It is Saturday morning. I have been horrible about vlogging. Um, last night I watched a few more lectures, did some homework, and hung out with my boyfriend. He made us tacos, but I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm not doing too much this weekend, just studying more, and then my parents are coming into town, so I'm picking them up at the airport later. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am definitely going to make more week in the lives, maybe some day in the lives as well if I have a busy day because I think this video is going to be very long. Make sure you like this video and subscribe down below. Follow me on all my social medias. Instagram and TikTok are both Maya X Jacobson and they will be linked in the description. And let me know if you have any other video ideas that you'd like to see. Bye, see you next time. I know I said I ended the vlog, but I'm studying for my exam. It's tomorrow. It's in, what time is it? It's almost eight. It's a normal hour! I'm freaking out. But my wonderful, cute, sexy, hot boyfriend, the love of my life, he's helping me study. So. And he brought you food. And he brought me Thai food because he's such an angel. <laughs> okay, I will let you guys know how the test goes tomorrow. The next clip might be of me crying or it might be of me feeling relieved. So I'll update you. I am home from my first exam. Started at eight and I was done a little bit before nine and then I have lab at 12. So I just came home for a few hours and now I'm working on stuff for this week, but I circled the ones I was a little unsure about and I circled eight of them. So I might've gotten eight out of 60 wrong, hopefully less than that, but that means hopefully I got more than an 86%. So I feel pretty good about it. I was so nervous, but it went really well. I wanted to give you a little update on how my first exam went. It's now Tuesday night and they did post the grades yesterday at like four o'clock. So the grades were done pretty quick, which I was really happy about. I just forgot to film. My reaction, I did worse than I thought I did, but I didn't do horrible. I still passed. I got 11 wrong out of 60. So I got a 49 out of 60. It's like 81. 
and failing is 76. I made an appointment with my professor earlier today and we went over the tests together and she told me the right answers for the ones that I got wrong and like went over why I missed them and about six of them that I missed was because I had crossed out the answers that I knew were definitely wrong and then I had check marks next to two of them that it could be and I ended up picking the one that was incorrect instead of the one that was correct. She said it was good that I was so close to the right answer, I just need to work on getting the right answer <laughs> next time. I'm not really too mad at myself though because it was just a different style of testing that I've never seen before and I just have to get used to it. Um, I don't think if I would have studied any more I would have done any differently honestly because I really knew the material, um, the style of test taking, like everyone says in, nur in nursing school is just different. It is now Tuesday and I filmed this video last week and I'm still not even close to editing because I just don't have any free time and it's either like I have to pick homework or editing this video. Hopefully I'll get this video up to you guys soon, but thank you for sticking around and watching all the updates. Okay. Bye guys.